In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a simple RESTful API using PHP or MySQL database. Uh, now, RESTful APIs are using widely in, uh, in web application and mobile application, and it is uh, very beneficial when you use uh, to data transfer between two different or multiple different applications. Full form of API is application programming interface uh, that is mainly used to communicate between the, between the application and cool operations are uh, de uh, defined by API uh, by using different rules and the output of the API can be generated in different formats like XML, uh, CSV or JSON format. Uh, in this tutorial, I will uh, show you how you can create uh, read API and uh, run the API to get data from the database. Uh, four types of API requests are handled for uh, four types of read operation. Uh, these are post for get, get for read, put for update, and delete for delete operation. So here, first of all, we will create a database test API. So go to the PHP admin and create the database. Okay, now select the database to create two relational table TSP and student, where the relationship is one to many uh, from TSP to student. After selecting the database, is the SQL statement. And here two tables are created, TSP and uh, the student. And the uh, next step is to insert some uh, dummy data to work on it. Okay, now go to the SQL name, select the database and go to the SQL tab and paste the data. Okay, some data are inserted. This is the TSP and the student table. Okay, now go for the next step. Create database connection. First of all, uh, create a folder in SDDocs where all your file or database connection related files will be stored. So go to the docs folder and get a new folder PHP API. Now all uh, required files will be created under this folder. So go to the step, create the database connection uh, and make the file name db.php. So open and go down to Open your folder, which is empty now, and so nothing is there. So first of all, I will uh, create the database connection file from this code. Okay, now save it in this location, uh, db.php. Okay, and now I will go to the next step, create API to read data. That will uh, read data from the student table based on TSP ID. And now again, create another new file. And uh, save this file. as uh, read api dot php okay here our database connection is a simple file uh, we are connected with the database test api and if uh, connection is not established then the error message will be printed 
and in the read API, it will read the TSP ID as you from the URL, and after making the database connection, this query will be executed. That will retrieve all the stored information based on the TSP ID, and uh, it will generate an array that will store all data in the SDR data array and uh, after storing the uh, records into the array all data are converted into JSON object by using JSON encode method and return to the caller and next uh, I will go to the next step create HT access file to uh, make it user friendly or in this step, uh, I can check uh, my data is retrieving properly or not. Here, okay, I click on it, then uh, read API, and uh, I will get and set a value for the URL TSP ID ID equal to one. Okay, it is fetching the data from the table uh, based on the TSP ID. And uh, if I go to the code, then you can see uh, it will read the URL and TSP ID value by using get array, and uh, which is used here. And after reading that, it, it pass the return the output in JSON form. Okay, now. Uh, this URL is not in user friendly format, so convert it into a user friendly format. You have to write a htaccess file, and uh, there is a simple code htaccess file code to generate the user friendly URL. So, create the file in the current location, and uh, it will how it works read API after this uh, it uh, will check any numeric data ID can be one digit two digit or three digit which indicates that uh, uh, and uh, it will be read like this read API if uh, the data is given in this format then it will read like this read API dot php question mark psp ID equal to one that means this section okay now I will save this as dot ht Access okay. Now I will check uh, the friendly URL is working or not. Just uh, type like this one. You can see same output is uh, now generating by using friendly URL. Now I will go for the next step. Our API is now ready to use, uh, and I will write another PSP code to uh, read the data from the API. So, from here to the new file. Yeah, if you can see the code, first of all, I will save it as index.php okay uh, where the API you are using I will show you here here uh, from is used to uh, take any TSP name and uh, it will submit the TSP ID as a value here the query is like that select ID name from TSP whatever name as a name this means it will retrieve all TSP ID and name information and fill up the drop down list. And user will, when user will select any TSP name, then it will it will submit the TSP ID, which will be used in the API URL. So here, if any TSP ID is posted, and this is our uh, URL of the API, and here TSP ID value is added like this uh, that I have shown in the URL and here uh, PHP call unit method is used to retrieve all the data and uh, return the JSON data and uh, read it back into PHP array. 
So convert it into PHPRA. Here just some decode method is used and uh, true uh, if you don't use the true then it will return php object but i wanted it in php array that's why true uh, argument is used here after that it is simple how you can read the data uh, if uh, any record is found then it will contain the data so is that method is used here and it will count the total number of records and if it is greater than zero then it will generate the uh, data in tabular form. So while loop is used uh, and while loop will be iterated based on the how many uh, elements exist in this array result data array. And it will read all the fields that is uh, passed from here. That means uh, this query, student ID, student name, round, course, GSP name. That uh, you can see these uh, field names are used here to uh, generate the tabular data. Now I will run the index.php from the browser. So go here localhost php and here you can see our TSP name are appearing from the database that are inserted here. There is three entry, TCSL, TCL, and Horizon. So I I have only data for the CCSL, so I will type it and submit. You can see our tabular output is appeared here. And if I type Horizon, that doesn't exist any data, so no record found. In this way, you can easily create a read API and uh, use it for in your other application where it's requires and in the similar way you will be able to create the create api or delete api or update api thank you for watching